Hollywood Live with Tanya Hart. A Quiet Place, day one, premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival last night, and it opens nationwide on Friday. It is the third installment in the Quiet Place film series, serving as a spin-off prequel to the first film. This one stars Lupito Nyong'o, Joseph Quinn, Alex Wolf, with Jaiman Hansu reprising his role from A Quiet Place Part 2, which came out in 2020. This plot follows a terminally ill woman during the early stages of an invasion in New York City by these blind extraterrestrial creatures with an acute sense of hearing. Yikes! Here's Lapita. In one of my first conversations with John Krasinski, he mentioned to me that one of his missions with this franchise was to expand the potential for what Thriller can do and how it can lend itself to other textures and tones and what is in line with the last two A Quiet Places that we saw is that this film is very character driven Uh, so yes there are creatures and yes there are scares but the investment is really in the characters. What is so brilliant about this concept of A Quiet Place is that an audience is really forced to survive their own thoughts as they're watching these movies because it's quiet, you know, so you have a lot of time to hear yourself. (laughs) And uh, I think that's what makes them so intriguing and so popular. I think fans are going to be excited to meet a whole new host of characters in a world that they're familiar with. I think that they're going to be enthralled by the love letter uh, that this film is to New York City, a city that means a lot to the people who live in it, but also I think to the world, you know. New York has a personality unto itself and I think it's a reference point that a lot of people understand. Lupita has really been embracing these horror films and that whole genre. And I got to tell you something, she is good at it because she does scare me to death on some of these. And for all these stories and a whole lot more, make sure you follow me on social media at Tanya Hollywood and at AURN Online. Oh, and don't forget, we will be on the red carpet at the BET Awards. You don't want to miss that.